My dad got me a job in the telephone company in 1971, and uh, it was something I didn't choose to do, but it was a job, and I did that for 16 years. And during that 16 years, I started making knives as a hobby. Um, it was kind of fulfilling all my life. I've, I made stuff when I was a kid. I made model cars, model boats, model planes, model trains, carved stuff with pocket knives, uh, was always fiddling around with tools with my hand, and I always enjoyed that. Uh, similarly, when I went to work with for the phone company, uh, I was uh, putting central office equipment together inside the office, and like I said, I did that till uh, 1986, and I got laid off. At that time, my knife business had progressed to where I was probably making 40 or 50 knives a year, and I had a base of customers that I was selling knives to. I kind of received it at the time when I got laid off that it was a blessing, and I figured that's the way I needed to look at it. So I decided that if I didn't try and be a full-time knife maker, I wouldn't ever know if I could do it. So God bless me. Um, I got more customers. I made more knives. I started acquiring more machinery. Nobody gave me anything in here. I dug all this equipment up and uh, put this all together. I learned, I taught myself metallurgy from reading metallurgy in books, experimentation. Uh, learned a lot of things along the way. Uh, a lot of the things that I do, making a knife in this shop, are processes that I thought up myself. Uh, no one taught me that. A lot of it is shortcuts, and some of this stuff is unlike other knife makers do. It's kind of my own method of operation, if you will. But God blessed along the way, and uh, uh, now I'm between two and three years back ordered. Uh, I don't get out here and make knives every day because I have other business interests to attend to, and uh, I feel real blessed that that's the case.